August 23rd marked the end of nearly two months of remote flying operations for Wisconsin National Guard Airmen of the 115th Fighter Wing. Based at Truex Field in Madison, Wisconsin, the unit relocated personnel, equipment, and aircraft to Volk Field Air National Guard Base in early July to accommodate runway repairs at Dane County Regional Airport. During this deployment to Volk Field, we deployed nearly 200 personnel. It was not just the pilots and the aircraft, but we had most of the maintenance operations, um, the flying operations, and a lot of support personnel. Uh, this was a mini deployment where we had to have services to take care of our airmen, uh, logistics and support to provide us to parts, and all the backshop support for maintenance. Volk Field is a phenomenal training location. We're very used to the airspace. We use the airspace every day in our normal local training. But when we come up here, we just see the facilities that Volk Field has. The operations building that we're currently operating out of is a world-class facility. It has everything we need, and we walked right in, we plugged in our computers, and we can get the operation going. So they provide a great venue to host our training. Following a month of sustained operations at Folk Field, the Madison unit forward deployed 130 airmen and 10 F-16 aircraft to Isleson Air Force Base for the 2014 Red Flag Alaska exercise. Being here, seeing the, the pilots and the, the flying, gets them a little closer to the tip of the spear. They really get a better understanding of the impact of their work and really gives them a feel of what they would experience in an AEF deployment. The 10-day exercise allowed both pilots and support personnel the opportunity to engage in highly complex multi-service combat scenarios. One of the things that you get a chance to appreciate at uh, exercises like Red Flag are the sheer scale of the missions that you fly. You're flying literally with 50 to 60 other aircraft in the air at uh, one time, which is a big contrast to what we're used to back in Madison with six to eight aircraft at a time. Even though this was a you know, challenging summer for the entire fighter wing, I believe that increased our overall mission readiness. As we have a more challenging scenario, it causes all of us to get more training. If we look at you know, the PDF and the CDF, as we deploy to Red Flag Alaska, we are actually deploying from a Ford location, and that's very challenging. So I'm very proud of the hard work that the entire wing did, everywhere from the services, the support, the logistics, the PDF, the CDF, all executed very, very well to be able to get all of our personnel, equipment, and aircraft to Red Flag Alaska. The experience 115th Fighter Wing members gained from the recent increase in remote flying operations is certain to pay dividends as the unit begins preparations for an extended Pacific Command deployment in 2015. Reporting for the 115th Fighter Wing, I'm Master Sergeant Paul Gorman.